Kidney gets it to Kandana, and he gets clobbered by Tyler Clevin as the K-Train comes flying into action. All right, we're chatting with uh, Sens defenseman Tyler Clevin, a gold medalist at the World Juniors um, and uh, two-time representative of Team USA. Uh, is the tournament as big a deal uh, back home as it seems to be here? Uh, maybe not as much as Toronto or Belleville here, but um, I think that uh, you know it's growing. The, the sport of hockey is growing a lot in Fargo with the, the force and UND growing the game over there. And um, you know, I know that my family and all my friends are watching me when I was up in uh, um, Edmonton playing. So. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that uh, yeah, just all the support there is great. How about the U.S. National Development Team program? You talk about growing the game in, in the States. I mean, that has just been uh, such a key in that. And, and I think we see the results, you know, from U18 right through to even the World Championships now. Yeah, they, they, uh, NTP pulls the best uh, 25 kids or so from around the U.S. and just develops them every day. Uh, it's an absolute grind at the rink every day, you know, with uh, two-hour practices and the two-hour lifts. But, um, you know, looking back on it, it's, uh, it's so beneficial when you're 17 years old, 18 years old. and You learn how to manage your time and learn how to manage school and, and uh, you know, all the, you know, physical activity that you have to go through and manage your body. So, I mean, um, being a part of that program, I'm very thankful for. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's such an awesome program for everyone to go through. Uh, is it safe to say that your favorite World Junior memory is uh, lifting the trophy, winning that gold medal? Yeah, I think that that's pretty cool. Um, you know, I wasn't a big part of that team, but um, just being able to be in the locker room with so many big names on that team and um, just yeah, watching and, and trying to pick up pick up little things from everyone. And um, yeah, I mean, it was yeah, I'm happy that I won the gold medal and um, yeah, it was good. The uh, bubble tournament you took part in, so you technically played uh, a little bit in the winter and then again in the summer. How unique was that experience? Yeah, I mean, um, both times I went, there was no fans, so that was kind of a weird situation. Usually when you think of World Juniors, you think of all the crazy fans and um, the atmosphere there, it's unmatched. But, you know, in my, my couple years of playing there, it was, it was pretty quiet. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was interesting. Um, hopefully no one ever has to go through that again. But um, I know that my family and my friends are always supporting me in the, in the bubble and um, I think that our team was really close together too because like we, we were the only people that we could talk to and hang out with so um, yeah it was definitely a unique experience and um, yeah to be able to win that gold medal is pretty special. Uh, how do you like Team USA's chances this year? Um, I think that they have a great chance. I'm, uh, yeah, I was watching them and um, yeah there's a lot of players I've played with uh, on that team, there's some really special players, and uh, I mean, I, I'm rooting for them every day. Uh, what's it like being in this room? There's so many guys that have represented their countries at that tournament. Are there some bragging rights on the line, perhaps? Um, yeah, I mean, I'll go, go up against anyone, anyone that wants to have a little friendly bet. Um, yeah, I'm definitely there for it. I think that uh, the U.S. has uh, great odds right now. Um, I know that there's uh, Finnish and Russians and, and uh, Canadians in there, definitely our biggest rivals. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's a tournament that everyone wants to play in and, and grows up um, dreaming about playing. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, just to be a part of that. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool to spend it with other players in here too.